Hi, this is Chantel Girardi, and today I'd like to talk to you about video marketing. So video marketing obviously is a very powerful tool to be able to build credibility and get your expertise and get your name out there. Uh, but just like Facebook Lives, done incorrectly, it can actually sabotage or do damage to your business. So we're going to go over today some Facebook advertising, uh, some video marketing uh, tips on what works and what doesn't work. So first I'm gonna start off with a little story about somebody that I know that used to get up in the morning, uh, spend an hour doing their makeup and hair, getting dressed, doing their lighting so that they could put together video content. Uh, and this was just to create a Facebook Live or to create a video message that they could use. Unfortunately, they didn't stick with it and it lasted about a month. Now the reason for that is because it became un un unpractical to do. Okay, so though you can see I've utilized um, a workspace, I've hired out a workspace to do my videos in here because obviously it can be a little bit noisier at home. However, it's not always possible. So if you want to remain consistent with your video marketing, you may want to get, um, you know, just get a tripod, you may wish to get a headset, even a microphone, uh, pay attention to lighting and do a few practice runs just to make sure that they are, you know, a little bit more professional than completely substandard. However, you don't want to put a lot of pressure on yourself up as well because you're less likely to actually follow through. So if you are going to be uh, using your content for education purposes or selling it in, in the form of an online course, by all means, make sure that you hire out a workspace or have a private uh, professional place set up to do it. Alternatively, if you're talking about just general everyday video content uh, or Facebook Lives, uh, you have to come up with something that is going to be uh, achievable, easily achievable for you to be able to do on an ongoing basis. So number one is, again, what is your intention? What are you hoping to achieve? Is it to build your credibility, show your expertise, um, share content, uh, or get people to engage with you? So think about what your intention is, because especially with your call to action at the end, that has to send them in the right direction. So what is your intention? What is your call to action going to be to get them from that video uh, and watching that video to actually engage your services. Now, I heard from an accountant client of mine this morning that he's been sharing a tip once a week on his Facebook page, and he's just got an inquiry from a client uh, who has signed up with him who said that somebody had tagged him uh, on Facebook, but then went onto his page, saw his Facebook lives, uh, and then felt he was the right person for the job, so reached out. So um, that's a perfect example of how you know, done correctly, it can lead to a positive result. So number two is you want to build relationship with your audience. So you want to make sure that you're either consistent or once again, you're just letting them know uh, when it's going to be happening. Uh, and you want to build that connection with them so that they develop a relationship with you and they like your teaching style. Number three is you want to be genuine. And this is what I was talking about earlier about it being achievable. You want it to be achievable, not something that is so extravagant that you just, it's going to overwhelm you and you're just not going to get around to doing it. Um, also, you need to remember that it has to be worth the watch. So think about the content that you're creating and is it the worth, worth the watch? Is it going to solve that person's problem? Is it going to make them uh, click on that video and watch that video? Okay, so think about uh, the headline and think about the content that's going to be leading those people into that, okay? Number five is subtitles, making sure that uh, we spoke about that in the Facebook Lives one, that it may be a good idea for you to get subtitles onto your videos. Uh, and you can do this for a number of apps or um, even services like Fiverr or VA can, can put subtitles on there. But it's for those people who can't actually push play uh, and watch a video. Um, number six is follow the post structure. So headline that stops your ideal client, identify with your ideal client with their pain point, offer them a solution, and then a call to action. So remember that structure still needs to be there as you lead them into that video, okay? And remember, point people to that. So let them know that you've got this video. If it is a series, let them know it's a series. Uh, let them know how often it's going to be so that they can learn to expect when it is going to be uh, going to be coming. One of the ways to do that is obviously to set it up as an event as well and let them know uh, that it is, is coming up and remember to let them know what's in it for them. And number eight is to repurpose it. So I like to say milk it for everything it's worth. Put it out in your newsletter, share it across all your platforms, remembering to respect uh, the platforms uh, and for, for uh, what they've been set up for. Create a blog 
from that Facebook Live. So my VA goes and creates all my blog content from that Facebook Live. Um, or put it together as a program or series. So identify a whole series of your videos and create a series from them and even sell it as a package or offer it as a program. You can also use it as an opt-in for as a give giveaway or as a selling tool. So people can opt into that to receive it. Uh, that's another way for them to build trust with you and then you can upsell them into one of your programs. So huge potential there for video marketing. Um, it's a huge part of, um, of your Facebook strategy. So making sure that if you're not quite ready for Facebook Lives, that's okay. You don't even have to have the camera on you. You can have the camera on someone else. And a great way to start out is actually to interview someone else or to be interviewed on a Facebook Live. So I hope that you have got some value from that today. Uh, look forward to seeing you in the next module.